What came in to dispatch as a burglary call Tuesday afternoon turned into an officer-involved shooting. Good evening, I'm Mercedes Martinez. And I'm Vinci Barr. Thanks for being with us tonight. Yuma police say when they arrived, they were met with a man holding a machete. 13 on your side's Arla Youssef joins us live from the scene with the latest details on this turn of events. Arla, good evening. Vince Mercedes, a turn of events to say the least. YPD says officers tried to de-escalate the situation on 5th Avenue and West 9th Street, but a man at the home refused to drop his weapon after several commands and even charged at officers. YPD has identified the man as 34-year-old Felipe de Jesus Herrera Jr. So when officers arrived, uh, he had a machete in his hand. They gave multiple, multiple verbal commands for him to drop the weapon. He refused to drop the weapon. Um, they kept trying to de-escalate the situation. An electronic control device, a less lethal device, was deployed. It was not effective on him. Sergeant Lori Franklin says Herrera Jr. then charged at one of the officers who had a gun, resulting in shots fired from YPD. When he came forward to the officers, he basically charged at the officers, that's when lethal force was used. Herrera Jr. was pronounced dead at the scene. A witness says Herrera Jr. lived at the home where the shooting happened. Liliana Villas says her neighbor was at her home minutes before police arrived, saying someone had broken into his home, called 911, and waited for YPD to arrive. Moments later, she heard what happened. I didn't know when they came, but I heard like a commotion outside, and that's when I heard like like yelling from the officers, and they were just yelling like, "What's your name? You know, drop the weapon, and or drop the knife." And when it, whenever they didn't get any results from that, I, I saw him shoot the, the taser, and they still were yelling to him to like drop the knife, sir. You know, what's you know, calm down, calm down. And then a few seconds later, and then. Uh, there's like some buyers. It's still unclear whether a burglary actually happened. Now, per department protocol, both officers involved in the shooting are on paid administrative leave pending an investigation. Both have been with the Yuma Police Department for six years. Reporting live in Yuma, Arlette Youssef, 13 on your side.